but no, I don't know. Hello, would you like a Gandhi poster with his handwriting? Yeah. Very well. Here you go. Hi, I'm Omshwa Prakash. I co-founded this initiative called Servants of Knowledge. We wanted to digitize out of corporate and public domain works and make it accessible to public. Plus, encourage authors and publishers to uh, release the works under Creative Commons license so that a lot more people can actually access their work. Ideas to try to democratize as many books as possible, I mean digital has made it available. So it's basically part of a larger kind of a copyleft movement you know, which has been around. It's a collaboration between different uh, institutions as publicresource.org which is an organization in in the US that Carl heads and and we he works on, on free knowledge. And then there is uh, Omshi Prakash who is from Bangalore and he's been working a lot on making uh, basically you know regional material available. So he digitized a lot of old uh, Karna magazines and newspapers etc. A lot of the books today are born digital. There's no problem. The problem is the heritage material. We wanted to digitize a lot of out of corporate books and public domain books. So once people know that there are some work like that, they end up actually buying the books. Yeah. Right? At the same time, we get to preserve those books for a very long time. Behind me, you actually see the digitization scanners that we use. These used to be built by Internet Archive earlier. Now, we even manufacture these here in India. And these scanners are used to safely digitize the books. So these are very high-end scanners here. So what we have is a, is a cradle, so this means we can take an old or rare book and not destroy it. Uh, you put it in the cradle, it goes up to the glass. There's two Sony cameras up on the top of each one. And what you do is you bring the book up to the glass, takes a picture, lets it down, turns a page. Back up. But you can do about 800 pages an hour doing that. So this is not just a scanning activity, it is an archival uh, process. Yeah. We manufacture these scanners here in Bangalore. We scan almost 1.5 million pages per month. Sumaru Adnay Laksha Puta Prati Tinglo now digitized Marti. Adnay Laksha Puta Prati Tinglo. Once a lot of time. Yes, 15 lakh pages. So we actually use the high end digital SLR cameras. We take a very high resolution. Uh, images. We run it through post-processing, which you know makes sure it's not not um, uh, skewed. Uh, if there's any warp in the page, it, it flattens it out. There is a QA that is actually happening. They check which image has not come, which pages they have missed out, and so on. If anything is missed, it actually comes back to the queue. They process that image and send it back. Mm -hmm. Then it actually gets processed and it comes out. Mm -hmm. And all the deriving and creation of various other uh, formats mm -hmm. actually happens through the Internet Archive's internal workflow. Okay. It's an automated process again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So these folks here are, are highly trained and they, they've learned how to do it. Um, and that's what they do all day. And what that means is we can work with old and rare books, right, that, that are fragile and not have to worry about, about hurting them. Um, it's also very high quality imagery, so if there's color pictures or photographs or whatever in there, uh, it's high enough quality that you can turn them into like these big Gandhi posters that we printed. So you, and, and again, it's all public domain. Uh, a lot of commercial contractors will do scanning and then they hand you a PDF and then they're done. Right. right. Uh, so we're, we're trying to do something much more and build a public library of India here. So after the books are scanned, they're run through OCR. We do all the Indian languages as well as, as the Western languages. Optical character recognition, wherein you extract the content from the pages and you get to search inside the book in any script. For example, in my Hind Swaraj collection, uh, it's got all the works of Gandhi. Uh, if you got a Gandhi quote, you can say search and it'll say, oh, volume 35 of the collected works. You click on it, it opens it up to the page that has that quote on it. You can also download the PDF you can download a Kindle variant, you can download an ebook, and you can download the OCR on um, the text. Um, so for more sophisticated things like um, Indian standards, we went through and re-tagged them in MathML, right? Uh, redid the images in SVG graphics. Earlier it, was, it never used to happen for multiple Indian languages. 
now it is possible in from 2019 when we started actually doing the uh, digitization we made internet archive to adopt the tech which actually give support for almost 140 languages so we built a very uh, new font called kittle font to uh, help ocr learn uh, how the old uh, texts are printed so we are working on building more such uh, revival fonts anything that is uploaded to archive get automatically ocr and we get to search And many authors and publishers think that copyright is an absolute thing. Okay. And it isn't. It, it's a series of limited rights, and then the public has a series of rights. And the trick is to balance them. If you look at the Copyright Act of India, uh, there's a number of fair dealing exceptions. So it says you have copyright, but if a uh, blind person wants a book, it doesn't matter if it's in copyright, they can copy it. You're allowed to archive books. Yeah. You're allowed to, in the course of your instruction, so if, if a teacher assigns you a book, even if it's in copyright, I can make you a copy and give it to you. Oh, okay. That was the Delhi University case um, in the High Court of Delhi. Oh. That was course packs, right? The uh, Delhi University was sued for giving students course packs that had a series of readings. And they were sued by Oxford, Cambridge, and other big publishers. And it was Justice Endlaw who said, no, the, the Copyright Act of India says if it's in the course of instruction, that's an exception to copyright. You can easily go to Internet Archive. We have QR codes for all the collections that we have created for you. Scan them, go find the book, search for the words or phrases that you are actually looking wow. for, find them directly in the respective page in which it is written. Wow. What we contribute back is the major metadata in multiple languages which many of the Internet Archive content misses. So we take care of that. We work with all type of books. We also work with people, a lot of uh, authors who are still along with us and they are ready to actually make their books available for public for free. Yeah. We release all those books at a Creative Commons license. So many of the books which are still there with us, which work with us, they actually say, okay, do only non-commercial. Mm -hmm. We do it because they have to still sell the books. Mm -hmm. So they can read the book, but if they want a copy, they can go and get a copy from the publisher. But because the publisher is also available, mm -hmm. they're ready to print how much our copies they need, they get the books. So it's a collaboration between people, uh, communities, organizations. Uh, Internet Archive has worked with a lot of universities. The easiest thing to start is to find any metadata that you can actually fix and help us in a respective language that you actually speak, whichever language, right? right? So Hindi, English, uh, Urdu, Sindhi, and so on. So we have digitized all the language content. And if you know someone who can actually like contribute to us by bringing in out of copyright books, we will start taking small chunks because we have limitations on the capacity because it's all run as a voluntary initiative. I started working with a lot of authors, publishers and also the families of those authors uh, or publishers to give us permissions under Creative Commons license. We released many works under Creative Commons across languages. Udharanage AP Malathi Anthanbuto. Our all work is done Creative Commons license. Our release is done. We have digitized the entire thing, and three people are doing PhD on it. And we have 50 years of Kasturi magazine released, which is known as one of the Canada uh, Readers Digest. Yeah. Uh, GT Narayan Rao's works released under Creative Commons license in 2010. Niranjana's work released under Creative Commons license in 2011. Now uh, Krishnan Kamat, Josna Kamat, our pustakal na online akidi be. Pavan Macharya, our the complete works, including his uh, handwritten manuscripts, we have digitized and made available online. OLN, PVN, KVN, you might have known, uh, you might have read all of them. Our innu namjate idru, our the all pustakal na public domain ko te daro. We have a QR code there that takes you to archive.org collection in which all the books we scanned under this project is available. From last four and a half years, we have digitized more than 90,000 titles in 16 plus languages. We're trying to do large, identifiable collections. Uh, we're trying to do things that you couldn't get any other place. So we went to the BM Sri Library and did a thousand old Kannada books, for example. We went to World Konkani Center and we did 5,000 books in Konkani. And before that, there were almost none available online. You actually have more than 50,000 Sanskrit works on Internet Archive under JGN. Yeah, so all those were actually made available by Karl Malmat. We have the largest Sanskrit archive on internet. Uh, you have uh, Hin Hin Swaraj collection wherein you have complete works of Gandhi, Nehru, Ambedkar and so on. All these books are OCR. 
we are currently digitizing Motilal Banarsi Das books. So we have worked with Raja Muttaya Research Library Chennai. We have made many of the Tamil books made available online. Jaigyan is our top level collection. Uh, it's got over 40 different sub-collections. Uh, Servants of Knowledge is a lot of Kannada materials. Uh, Hinswad Raj is uh, collected works of Gandhi, uh, all of Nehru, all of Ambedkar, Radhakrishnan, Patel, uh, uh, the Desai Diaries, uh, you name it. And, and we, we are just trying to like build the collection up bigger and bigger. Everyone in the world is scanning English books and German books, right? They're, the British Museum's doing it. Huge number of digitization efforts like Google Books. Uh, but but the, the cultural diversity of India needs to be preserved and promoted. And you know, there's 40 million Indians that live overseas, and they're some of our biggest users. Um, our Konkani books, we, there, there were no Konkani books on the internet. Uh, we scanned 5,000 of them and made them available. And, and so I think this effort helps promote the cultural diversity. In the it's immensely valuable for the future. Kannada Sevegagi, Sahiti Sevegagi, Saraswati Sevegagi, Sanchi Foundation, Servants of Knowledge, Yelrugun and Chiraruni.